What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a breakdown of the super fight that took place in Japan just days before I competed. We are talking about Tension versus Takaru. This is two amazing Japanese fighters at the 58 kilo weight class that were both undefeated. Now Tension, as you may remember, fought Floyd Mayweather in a boxing exhibition. He is a longtime competitor of Ryzen, a big Japanese promotion. And on the other side, we have Takaru, who is part of K1. This fight is worth covering. I wish I could have brought you the full fight, just the whole thing, just me commentating it, but because of YouTube copyright laws, I definitely cannot do that. So we are gonna break down the fight instead, look at clips, and talk about who won this amazing matchup. It is not very often in the kickboxing world where you have a fighter who is undefeated. In fact, it's almost unheard of when you reach the top level. Why is that? Well, everybody is fighting everybody. You cannot avoid people the way you do in boxing. But nonetheless, we had two undefeated fighters here who have pretty much fought everybody except for each other. This fight was called The Match because it was that important and had that much recognition over in Japan. The stadium was filled with about 60,000 fans. Apparently, pay-per-view was over 500,000. This fight brought in so much money and both fighters delivered and put on an amazing performance. The only thing, the only disappointment of this fight to me was that it was not five rounds. It was not for a belt or a title. So it was a three round fight. I would have liked to have seen an extra two, but with that said, let's move forward and let's look at round number one and exactly what happened. So as the fight gets underway and we get about 30 seconds into the bout, the main thing that I am noticing is Takaru's inability to get counters off. We see both fighters throwing single shots for the most part, but the difference being that Tension will block the single shots and get his counters back, whereas Takaru is not doing that. He's letting Tension get off his shots and maybe not score with flush shots, but letting them go unanswered. To me, this was a key element early in the fight, letting Tension kind of set the stage for the pace of the whole rest of the bout. If Takaru had been able to get those counters off as tension was, I feel like he could have gone about controlling the ring slightly better and controlling the pace of everything. Something else I really did not like from Takaru was his straightforward movement with his head right above his waist and he kept walking into jabs. When you enter straight like this and your head does not come off the center line, assuming you are the shorter fighter or the guy with the shorter arms, you are at a disadvantage because as we see here, tension simply backs up and throws his jab. And he does this so many times and Takaru walks straight into it. I would have loved to see him fake which would prompt Tension to throw his jab, then he could follow up, or very simply, as Takaru moves forward, he gets his head off the center line, so that jab slips by, and then he could have followed with the rest of his combo. The whole first round, in my opinion, was not great for Takaru. In addition to walking into a number of jabs, he also acknowledges them by smiling. And this is something that I urge people in the fight world to avoid doing. If you take a shot, and then you smile at your opponent, you are acknowledging that something landed. The guys that I love to watch, they get hit, and then they just go right back to work. And they do not give that person any satisfaction in the fact that the shot landed. I feel like Takaru was taking things a little too personally, smiling, and just that shows the judges that you are acknowledging that shots are landing and they might not be devastating shots, you might not be crazy hurt, but still it's extra time for the judges to go, hmm, okay, he got hit and he's smiling, little pause, we're definitely gonna award more points to the other guy. Now still in round number one, we see Tension do a fantastic job of mixing up his shots, going high, and low and down to the body and mixing up angles. Very, very good work from him to make himself unpredictable in his attacks. He also does a fantastic job, tension, of throwing his flying knee 
off the back leg, but at the same time catching an angle. What this does is he catches his angle and throws his flying knee is he ensures that when he lands, he's not going to be in any danger. He's in a super safe zone because Takaru has to deal with the knee and then when tension comes down and lands, he's way over here. This means that tension can either follow up with a shot or exit safely as Takaru takes his angle and focuses back on his opponent. And just to put a stamp on the end of this round, we see Takaru getting a little bit wild, trying to force the power. He overloads a shot as he's leaning in and tension lands a knockdown, scoring the round 10-8. You have to give it a 10-8 when somebody gets knocked down. So right away in the first round, we have tension far, far ahead on the scorecards. Moving into round number two, we see Takaru make some nice adjustments. One of the most notable ones for me is his increase in footwork. He's starting to back up very quickly. Not that he's being very defensive and running, but when he sees tension start to throw shots, he'll take that step back. And now we see tension missing a little bit more frequently and not having the same success that he was in round one. In addition to that, we also see Takaru starting to get more aggressive when he's not taking those little steps back, he's moving forward and he's starting to combo up. Whereas in the first round, he was focusing more on single or double shots. Now we see him start to let combos fly. This is a much better round for Takaru and ultimately the judges score it 10-10, even round, which now puts Takaru at a very, very far point where he now needs, if he wants to win the fight, he needs to score two knockdowns in the final round. Now something that we see Tension do in round three is utilize some amazing head movement. Head movement is something that we don't see too often in kickboxing because the danger being if you start rolling and slipping you can come down into a knee or lean over into a round kick. But Tension's hand style, the positioning of his hands is always quite far away from his head so he's ultra aware of that. And when he displays this amazing slipping ability, Takaru finds it difficult to land anything of note. Now, when we saw Bokao fight Masato in fight number two, and Masato lands a knockdown on Bokao, all of a sudden, the Thai fighter goes, okay, I have to score a knockdown and starts to rely solely on hands. Forget about his legs. Well, in round three, we see Takaru do something similar. He needs to score multiple knockdowns to win the fight. So what does he do? He goes to boxing. He tries to land the heavy hands. But when you start removing the lower half of your body and all the tools that follow there, you get much more predictable and landing anything that could put somebody down becomes that much harder. So unfortunately, with just boxing against tension, you're not going to have the upper hand and Takaru starts to slip behind on this round. As he gets tagged in boxing, where he just does not have the same skill set as tension, he starts walking into shots intentionally to probably try and provoke Tension to bring him into a firefight, but Tension is not having any of that. He lands his shots, he takes his angles, and we see Takaru slip lower and lower on the scoring just because he's allowing himself to get hit, throwing up that smile as we mentioned before, and just overall struggling in round three to get the round under his belt. Ultimately in this fight, dubbed the match, we see amazing skills by both fighters but in the end, a unanimous decision for Tension taking a spectacular win, and as I understand, now retiring from kickboxing and moving into boxing full time. Takaru apparently was a little heartbroken and also announced a retirement. I believe both fighters put so much pressure on themselves to get this big fight as a victory in their career and then probably with the plan to move on, so it probably hurt him quite a bit, but I do not doubt that Takaru can come back and accomplish amazing things if he decides to continue with any fight sport whatsoever. So that is it guys. As I mentioned at the beginning, I would have loved to bring you the full fight, but the clips are all I could do. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like. If you have not already, join the channel, get subscribed. Be sure to check out the other fight which I've covered with Tension, where he goes up against Rod Tang, who is just a Thai monster. And as always guys, Train hard, and I will see you back here soon for another video.